Gemini. Welcome to your love reading. We're going to look at the energies from July 15th through July 31st. And yes, I am a little late. I do apologize. Mom over here. Well, I've been quite busy and I've come down with a little bit of a cold. So I apologize, but here I am. So this is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, Gemini. Okay. And Venus. It's general. It may or may not resonate. Also, too, some of you guys are dealing with a, a Gemini or yourself there just flipped out. Some of you are kind of feeling trapped, too. Um, again, it's, well, the cards are just flipping Gemini. <laughs> There's conflict, too. <laughs> Holy shit. By the way, I do swear. So, you guys are just flipping out of this deck. It's hilarious. Um, okay, so if it doesn't, if this one doesn't resonate, look at your sun, moon, rising Venus, okay? You guys, please help me out. Click a share, subscribe if you wish. Also, too, below is all my information if you guys need a personal reading. The July special is still on, 50% off of readings, the 30-minute general love reading, okay? There are other options, and you can click below to see that. Also, I'm on Instant Go, so if you guys have a quick question and you're in a hurry, you can find me over there, all right? So, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, let's see what's going on in your beautiful love lives, all right? Gemini in love. Show me Gemini, please. One more shuffle, and then we're going to cut the bitch, and we're going to do it, Gemini. We really are. All right, let's take a look and see what's going on for you guys, all right? We're going to cut it, cut it, cut it. All right, let me lay this out and see what is going on with you guys. <clears throat> Ooh, excuse me. I'm not contagious through YouTube, though, so you're safe, gems. You are. All right, let's take a little gander here. I'm probably going to move all this down, you guys, a little bit so you get a better view. I'm using the Crystal Visions deck in case anybody really gives a flying F, but they are beautiful. I love this deck. Really nice, beautiful illustrations. All right, so let me take a little looky look and see what the hell is going on, Gemini. All right, let's take a look at the bottom of the deck and see what the hell is going on. All right, so overall energy between you and another person right now is the strength card. Somebody you might be dealing with a Leo. Somebody's holding back, Gemini. Somebody is taming their communication or their actions. You know, also too, I think a lot of times with the strength card, it's overcoming some type of worry or inner conflict and releasing that and finding that inner strength and courage to move forward. Okay, so trying to regain your strength, gems, but also, too, you could be dealing with somebody that's just kind of holding back. They're not really taking a whole lot of action, or they're taming themselves right now, either you or the other person, all right? In the recent past, you guys have the world major arcana, something ended. You know, if it didn't completely end, then some something within your current relationship has ended. Some type of cycle has ended, okay? The world is all about endings and new beginnings, learning our lessons, right? So that we can open up this new chapter. I'm looking around here to see major arcana. You guys have like four major arcanas in this reading. So some, some big changes coming your way in love, Gemini. Ready or not, right? And again, you guys had some type of ending and, you know, possible new beginning in the recent past or just an old chapter has closed. Could have been with a Leo. Doesn't have to be. But again, you guys are remaining courageous and strong through whatever ending has happened here. Coming into the current moment, you have the Two of Swords in reverse. This is your energy. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius could be dealing with another air sign. If not, coming in right now, you guys have come to some type of final decision, or the other person has. Two of Swords in the upright is somebody's just blindfolded. They're indecisive. It's a lot of mental anxiety. It's just being all crazy in your head, gems. 
But in the reverse, it's not. You've taken off the blindfold. You see things for how they are. You've come to some type of decision, right? Your challenge or what's influencing that is the Knight of Pentacles in reverse, Earth Energy, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Knight of Pentacles in reverse, that energy is just, well, it's not moving. It's not slow. It's just nothing is happening. So your challenge could be an earth sign, but I think you're coming to reality about this or you've made some type of decision somebody has, and it could have something to do with something that's just at a dead stop. You had an ending in the recent past, but you're remaining strong, maybe holding back a little bit or the other person. What's on your mind is the Page of Wands, Fire, Leo, Sag, Aries. The pages are delivering some type of news, some type of communication. Right now, you just might not be communicating with somebody. It doesn't have to be a fire sign, but it could be. So what's on your mind is you're just refusing to communicate or they're not communicating. It's all happening because of the Eight of Pentacles, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. But in the, in the foundation, the situation is somebody's still putting effort or they're putting energy. It doesn't have to be physical effort into this situation, this love situation. It could just be energy. Somebody's still putting effort or energy into this love situation here. As a result of this, though, coming in, you guys, somebody's making a final decision. We'll clarify and see what that is. But again, the overall energy strength holding back not communicating, taming your communication, and that's what's on your mind. There's a lack of communication here. If not putting effort or hard work into this existing relationship, why everything is happening is maybe you guys are focused on work. Eight of Pentacles. Coming in, you're going to experience the Seven of Swords in reverse. This is your energy. And the upright, this is that sneaky lion cheating behavior. It can also be self-deception as well, though. Or somebody's just avoiding or leaving. But in the reverse, a lot of times this, is, this could be like an apology. Right? Or somebody returns to the scene of the crime, Gemini, to right a wrong. So if there was some type of sneaky behavior in the past, right? They come in to kind of heal the situation. But your challenge is going to be this just stagnant energy here. You see yourself as the wheel of fortune in reverse. Maybe you guys see yourself as just not willing to change. The wheel of fortune in the reverse is a lack of change. You see yourself as just unlucky in love right now too. Major arcana, karma. Maybe you guys feel like you're still kind of paying off some karmic debt. Or again, you just feel unlucky in love. Outside influences coming in is the hierophant in reverse. Could be an Aries or a Taurus. But the energy outside here coming towards you, external influences coming in, is somebody that's just not committing. They don't want to commit. They don't want to be in a traditional commitment or marriage. Some of you, this could be a marriage. And in the recent past, there was an ending or some type of shift in a cycle. That's, again, why your challenge is just, it's just not moving. It's just stuck. Hopes or fears is the death card, sign of Scorpio, another major arcana. You have endings all over this, right? But new beginnings, because the death card is all about something dies or transforms. It doesn't have to be a complete end of a relationship. So, you know, don't freak out. For those of you that that's not resonating, it can be a transformation within your existing relationship. We'll clarify and open up this, a bad boy, Gemini. All right, your hope may be to transform something, but just remember whatever coming, whatever's coming in external to you, they're not conforming. They might be breaking away from a traditional marriage or relationship. Maybe you're hoping for death. Maybe you want an ending and a new beginning. You do have world in the recent past. All about new cycles. Most likely outcome is the Knight of Swords. This is you. I normally think of the Knight of Swords as a Gemini. Could be dealing with another air sign. Knight of Swords, the Knights are all about change and they're in pursuit of something. The Knight of Swords is the fastest moving Knight in the deck. Swords are about our communication. So the Knight of Swords is in pursuit of something. You may have something to communicate with somebody. Somebody may be rushing in to communicate with you, but you have to be careful because the Knight of Swords energy, it can have a little bit of drama tied to it because it's such quick, fast paced energy and communication. It can be arguments. That kind of thing, it can be. Or it's just somebody rushing in. And usually the Knight of Swords has something to do or something to say. And again, you have to be careful. Drama could be tied to it. Arguing, 
that kind of thing. So let's clarify and see what's going on for Gemini. Open up the reading for Gemini if I don't choke. <coughs> oh my God. Okay, Gems. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Please clarify these areas for Gemini. What's coming in for love? What does Gemini need to know about their love lives? July 15th through July 31st. You like how I got that 31st in there, Gemini? Not gonna lie, I had to look it up. Couldn't remember if there were 30 days or 31, and it's important, all right? Gemini in love. Clarify these areas, please, for Gemini. What's going on with the zodiac sign of Gemini, please? Clarify these areas for Gemini. Let's take a look and see what is going on. All right, I'm gonna cut this bad boy, and then we're gonna start clarifying this bitch. All right, let's take a look. So the overall energy right now is strength. Um, some of you may be dealing with a Leo, but I get the feeling that somebody's just holding back, kind of taming themselves, but trying to remain strong, right, through this world energy in the recent past. Why is strength here for Gemini, please? Why is strength here? You have the Queen of Swords in reverse. Could be you, because it is air energy. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. I normally think of the Queen of Swords as a Libran, but it doesn't have to be. Um, you guys are kind of taming yourself or holding back from somebody that's just, well, kind of pissed. The Queen of Swords in reverse is that scorned queen. She's normally single or divorced or something, but she's bitter and she's pissed. And her communication can be pretty fucking nasty. But she's experienced some pain, right? She's gone through some pain in the, in the past. Could be an ending, the world. And you guys are just holding back from this person. Um... Let's look at that world. The world in the recent past for Gemini. Why is the world here, please? Clarify this world. Nine of Swords. There's some type of ending that probably left y'all, you know, in some of that sleepless night energy with some anxiety and worry, right? If not you, the other person. Up late at night, just kind of thinking and not able to kind of calm your mind, your thoughts. Coming in right now, we have the Two of Swords in reverse, though. There's your energy. Why is the Two of Swords here for Gemini, please? The uh, Wheel of Fortune. So coming in right now, Gemini, I think you guys are no longer living with that blindfold on. You've come to some type of decision that change is needed because the Wheel of Fortune is about big changes coming in for you guys. The wheels in the upright, it's turning in your favor, and I think in order for that to happen, you guys are seeing things clearly. Again, you've come to some type of final decision. Something had to end in the past, even though it may have left you in your head or the other person really anxious and worried about this, stressed out. You know that you need forward movement. And for these changes to come in, you had to come to some type of decision. All right. But the wheel is now in your favor. Okay, good things, good and drastic things are coming in for you because you've made a decision to end something in the recent past. The Knight of Pentacles in reverse is your challenge. Why is this Knight of Pentacles here for Gemini? The Ten of Pentacles, so a commitment. Stability within the home. Stability within this commitment will be your challenge because the energy is just stagnant. Again, more Earth energy there, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. What's on your mind is the page of wands in reverse. You just may not be communicating with somebody, right? Or they're not, you know, communicating. There's a lack of communication. Why is the page of wands here, please? Judgment, another major arcana. Wheel of fortune, another major arcana. And what I, what I just said, the wheel of fortune is all about big changes coming in, right? Big, good changes. All these major arcana. Old cycles are ending, Gemini. Judgment is all about rising from the ashes. It's looking back on the path, making some type of judgment call or decision. It can be second chances, but I don't really see that here with these surrounding cards. What's on your mind right now is just, you know, a lack of communication. Or the page of wands in the upright is all about a new spark. Something kind of new and flirty starting to some of you may be dealing with a younger fire sign right and you're making a judgment call that's what's on your mind some kind of decision has something to do with past decisions and really rising from the ashes right why is judgment here let's throw another card why is judgment here for gemini please the world's in reverse right so maybe there's still some unfinished business here you know a lack of closure 
Maybe you guys want a second chance with this person now that I look at it with judgment and then the world in reverse. Somebody wants a second chance because there's some unfinished business here. But something in the recent past has ended. If this isn't you, then it's the other person and that's what's on your mind, right? But there's still no communication. Somebody feels like something just hasn't closed out quite yet, right? It, I, and I think it might be the other person. We'll see. We'll see, though, because, again, you see yourself as Wheel of Fortune in reverse. You, you feel like things just, luck's just not on your side here. All right, and I just dropped my cards, gems. All right, let's see what's going on here. It's all happening, though, because of the Eight of Pentacles. Why is the Eight of Pentacles here, please, for Gemini? Why is this Eight of Pentacles here? Ace of Pentacles. So, yeah, a lot of you guys are focusing on work. The situation is to just two of swords coming in. You've come to some type of fi final decision here. You know that you need to make change. But what's on your mind here is still maybe something just there's like this lack of closure or unfinished business. But you guys are holding back. Somebody's holding back and not communicating, right? But it doesn't mean you're not ready to move on. Wheel of Fortune. You know that you have to end a cycle. For good things to come in. The challenge is for this commitment. It's just stagnant. Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Eight of Pentacles. You guys are putting time and effort into work. Others of you, you're still putting energy into this relationship because you're thinking about this lack of closure. You want to give a second chance. Coming in is the Seven of Swords in reverse. Why is the Seven of Swords in reverse here, please? King of Wands. Leo Sag Aries could be coming in. If somebody wronged you in the past, Gemini, if somebody has screwed you over, maybe they left or maybe they just did some cheating, lying, sneaking behavior, what you'll experience is maybe this person coming in to apologize, communicating that. And it's all happening because maybe this person in the foundation here wants to put work and effort into the situation, to this commitment. Ace of Pentacles is all about stability. There's a lot of practicality tied to that Ace of Pentacles. Yes, it is potential for a commitment, but it's not just about emotion. It's, you know, stability that has long-term potential. It has to be nurtured and grown and taken care of, right? So I'm almost thinking that it's this person coming in that has the lack of closure. We have fire energy here, but somebody's still taming themselves, hold them back. You see yourself as the wheel of fortune in reverse right now. You just feel like luck's not on your side. Change isn't, you know, coming the way that you want. Why is the wheel of fortune here for Gemini? The Empress, sign of Taurus or Libra, sometimes in Aries, right? Right now you see yourself as, you know, again, luck not on your side when it comes to your love life. Some of you guys, this is a marriage. Some of you are mothers and married here with the Empress energy. But the Empress is all about growth and expansion. So you guys still want to grow and expand with somebody. You want to nurture. So maybe it is you guys here with the lack of closure, you know, because that's what's on your mind. Coming in, though, you've come to some type of final decision. You know that there needs to be change made. Somebody's putting effort or time into this relationship whether it's just energetically speaking or, or not. Maybe some of you guys work with this person too. But you're going to experience somebody coming in to right or wrong, Gemini. If there's been something done in the past, whether that's you or the other person, there'll be an apology or some type of healing, some type of conversation, swords again, communication. Because you guys are just not feeling good right now. You're not feeling lucky in the situation, but you still want to nurture and grow this. Some of you could be pregnant. But the Empress is about expansion, nurturing, and loving something with potential, you know? External influences is the Hierophant, sign of Taurus or Aries. All about, when it's in the reverse, it's about breaking away from tradition. Somebody might be breaking away from a marriage here. Or just doesn't want to commit. Is still just not willing to commit. Why is Hierophant here for Gemini? Ten of Swords. We got Ten of Swords here, right? So the energy coming in, external influences coming in is somebody that's just not committing, you know? 
either you know they feel betrayed this is outside of you this is the energy external to you gemini they're non-committal there's an, some type of ending here. You do have the world in the recent past. It's like there's this betrayal and ending and somebody doesn't want to commit. But there's still a lack of closure. And somebody's thinking about a second chance. And somebody's coming in here is what you're going to experience to right a wrong. But they're still bringing the energy in of non, of, of non committal. It's, there's no commitment here. They don't want to commit. They're breaking away from that commitment because of some type of ending or betrayal. But one of you is still putting effort into this relationship. Ace of Pentacles, there's still potential for a relationship here. But there's betrayal going on. All right? Some of you have a fire sign coming in, Leo Sag Aries. Expect communication or some type of apology. It's not happening right now because the challenge is this person. Remember, the Ten of Pentacles is the challenge. They're still not going to commit, either you or them. Somebody's not committing. They're bringing the Hierophant in reverse, Ten of Swords. Something's ending. All right? Your hopes or fears is death. Why is death here for a Gemini? Another major arcana, lots of changes. Why is death here for Gemini? Eight of Wands, right? You guys want change. You guys want communication probably from this person too, more fire energy, right? I think that you're fearing an ending. And you want communication from this person. <coughs> Eight of Wands is the arrows of love. But it's also about change. And death is about change. Death is transformation, right? That Eight of Wands is really fast movement. Sometimes it comes in suddenly. Change is occurring. Most likely outcome is the Knight of Swords. Why is the Knight of Swords here for Gemini? Knight of Swords, that is your card. Why is the Knight of Swords here for Gemini, please? Three of Swords in reverse? Yeah, what I say earlier. Healing and apologies. Sometimes for me, the Three of Swords in reverse is somebody trying to heal a situation or apologize. So yeah, so most likely outcome, Gemini, you guys will have somebody coming in, right? There's been an ending in the past. Somebody was really having a lot of anxiety over it. Somebody's holding back right now because somebody's pissed. Queen of Swords in reverse. You know, somebody's come to some type of final decision here that, that they know there needs to be change, and there was, the world in the recent past. But your challenge is still to get this person to commit and to get this energy moving the way you want towards a commitment because it's just stagnant. Could be through work. Some of you guys work with this person, Eight of Pentacles. If not, right now you're just focusing on work. Others of you are still putting energy into this. You want to put the effort. Somebody wants to put the effort and hard work into this, even though there was an ending in the past or a shift, a new cycle. But it left you up at night. Eight of Pentacles, clarify with it. Ace of Pentacles, potential for stability and long term within this relationship. A lot of earth energy. That's in the foundation here. Somebody, either you or the other person, still wants to work on this. If you're not putting all your effort into work, it's going to be different for you guys. This is the potential energy. But right now, you just see yourself as luck's just not on your side right now. It's because somebody came to a final decision probably to end something in the recent past. But you guys see yourself as the empress. Self-worth, self-love. But also, too, for some of you guys, you still want to expand with this person. Nurture the relationship. Coming in, somebody will probably communicate with you, apologize for something here. Could be a fire sign, king of wands. They are in the upright, so they're, you know, they're telling the truth. Healing energy, but external to you coming in is somebody that's still breaking away from commitment or tradition or marriage because of some type of betrayal, ten of swords, or an ending that happened. I still see them bringing that energy in. So just don't expect this person to commit when they come in. They're still not going to commit. That's your challenge too. You guys want to revive something, probably death, transform something. You're waiting for communication. You want communication, eight of wands. Most likely outcome is somebody will come in, knight of swords. It is you. You might rush in or they might rush in. I see a different energy coming in here though. Knight of wands is, or the knight of kings. 
Hello. King of Wands is also about taking action. A lot of passion. So they'll come in with an apology. Three of Swords in reverse. Also very healing energy. So I do see you guys recovering from this. Ten of Swords energy. Nine of Swords energy. They'll be healing. Whether it's with this person or just on your own. Others of you, Knight of Swords, Gemini. You guys might just be rushing out in pursuit of something else and healing with that Three of Swords in reverse. But I do think for a lot of you, somebody's going to come in and try to apologize and heal a situation. But they're still bringing an ending your way. It's almost like you have this communication that brings on healing type energy. But again, they're still, they're still non-traditional. They're still not going to commit. Maybe they feel betrayed with the Ten of Swords, right? So that's what I have for you, a Gemini. I hope it helps. Love you hard, and I will be back to love you hard again real soon. You guys take care.